So we look at the first PSP, you are supposed to find height. Right? Finding height, if we look at the formula, it's supposed to be volume divided by base area. If it's not volume divided by base area, the other one just now I said is that volume, volume divided by length divided by breadth. You will also get height. Understand? All right. So looking at this question, uh, this example, they said that the cuboid has a volume of 300 cm cube. Okay. So this is volume. Take note. All right. Then its base is a rectangle. Okay, which has a perimeter of 32 cm. We actually did a question like this last week, right, which involves perimeter. So, perimeter, how do we get perimeter? Okay, so in simple, it's two length, two breadth, correct? So, when they give it to you in the next line, that the ratio of the length to the breadth of the rectangle, that means they tell you it's the rectangular base here, yeah? is 5 to 3. So, we follow what is given here. We put it down. Length to breadth from here. Okay? 5 to 3. Okay? But why is it that they actually go and do the times 2 and the times 2 here? Because of your perimeter, 2 length, 2 breadth. So, if you times 2 times 2, 10 units and 6 units, Will be, will be actually the perimeter. Okay, so if we add it up, we get the 16. 16 will represent the perimeter of the 32 cm. All right, so the moment you get 16 units is 32, you can always look for one unit. So 32 divided by 16, 2. All right, if one unit is 2, now you can find your length and the breadth. All right. So length, because it's 5 units, take note, don't use the 10. 10 is for double length. So we should use length only, one of the length, which is 5. Alright? So 5 units <coughs> times the 2, we will get 10 cm for the length. Okay? Then for the breadth, the same thing, we use the units of 3. So 3 units times by the 2 again, we get the 6 cm. Understand? Alright? So... Question asks you to find height. So given volume, then we got the length, we got the breadth, okay? If you look over here, they also put in the formula. But the difference here is 300 being the volume, they put the 10 times 6 here, okay? But remember, if you don't want to do by the 10 times 6 way, you, you, you know, if you press in the calculator and all that, the other way that you can do is, like what I said earlier on, another way is volume divided by length divided by breadth. All right? So if I put it in following this formula, volume divided by length divided by breadth. Okay? You will come back to the same of 5. Putting into this kind of formula, you need to remember. You need to multiply first before you can do the division. But if you press into your calculator, 300 divided by 10 times 6, it will be wrong. Because follow the order of operation, right? Your calculator will do the divide first, then do the times. But to do this correctly, it should be doing the times, then the divide. If you want to avoid this kind of error, then you just directly do it by this way. Understand? Alright?